Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm going to go with you this time. Let's go. Adam Murray, Adam Murray, Adam Murray. I'm gonna fuck Sarah in the woods. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with. The Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Mm, I think she's been sleeping with the can only. Fucking slack. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form? All these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Ah, uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay.
you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, where we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, this is gonna sound stupid, but um, but that night in farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Well, Captain Corey's got it on, so somebody's lying. I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> what? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. All right, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. <sighs> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. You know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but... Science building is back there. Ah, damn it, Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you got damn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. Place up pretty good. Son of a bitch! How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I think I can get this ah, there. Not so hard. Through here. here looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a 
second. What if you come up on top of here? You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the stragglers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up. On down. It's clear. You okay? Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring you more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. You cheat me, bitch. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! Damn it! Ah, uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Deacon, here! I got a use for you. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Mm. Come on. I think we can get through here. It won't open. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. no, no, I got this. I got it. See? I told you. Shave his fucking head, Bob. I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Badly, do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up. Ah! I'm just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. Oh, shit! More barricades, and they're <laughs> everywhere. Huh, uh, check the buildings. Just gotta get through these barriers. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time. Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Got it. Okay, hold on. 
Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hey, another op open window. Got it. Sarah! 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 No! Sarah! 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 Hey. God. Oh my God. There's... There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed Freeze before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <sighs> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. Has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? <clears throat> oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. It's sure jammed like all the rest. Another way. <laughs> For a second, those are those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's got to be a way from the roof. Come on, zombie babies, gonna kill them all. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. Pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. Careful. 
Steady. I got this. You try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. It's gonna get. Let's move. Stay down. Yeah, got it. Notes. Huh. Damn it. How you doing on ammo? You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this.
hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. This way. Right behind you. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. They get the best shit on Wizard Island. There you go. Okay, now that's more like it. Oh, big spender. Cheap in buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? Oh, yeah. Upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Credit burning a hole in your man purse, or what? Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. See ya, Corporal. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need the dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, 
You're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, with no, Corporal Saint No, John. no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Scratching his balls a day, you bastard. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could you check you can't out. get what I need there. You... <laughs> God, you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an yeah, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Oh my god, they kid. I don't believe it. Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good, with Deke... 
Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's done. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know? Considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having, a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help move us or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile. When everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... <sighs> what the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the, the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Oh, 
I just fucking shit myself. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Dee. Ah! I don't know, I wasn't there. Mm. Ah! Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 20007659. Shit. This one's ah! Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. And now it's been, what, two years? God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! <sighs> oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of the Cloverdale safety rules. to figure out how to get up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? <laughs> yeah, once or twice. Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? 
Jim the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Down. Mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. This won't stop at anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here, give me cover right fire. Do whatever you can to destroy. I'll send you when it's clear. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Crazy. It's clear. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will be harmed. It's clear. ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in Alert. first. Alert. Hey, this, this time, we go in together. Multiple shots have been fired. Security. They're winning. Shit. Keep Slam. working at them. They're gonna run. I see him. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against more of them. all trespassers. Warning. Oh. This is authorized. <laughs> Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel well, to the like you said, building. a lot's changed. Jim? Come on, let's try the door. 
Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Alert. Every gun on the Alert. other side of that door is aimed right called. here. We need a better plan. Stand down and you will yeah, not be one. harmed. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. You should be able to Security climb up to the roof from the AC. The you mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Deadly okay, is that's a really good plan. But uh, there's uh, just one problem with it. Warning. Deadly What's that? Is authorized. The door's locked out, remember? Huh. Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert, alert. 911 has been called. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you Alert. doing? Alert. Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, alarm. but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, five four two nine zero zero nine. Uh, is that right? Yes, it's against all trespassers. Here. Alert. Alert. Nine one one. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Hey, don't take any chances. Deacon Lee St. John, ID 54290 Said hands. Uh, all right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? 
You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Fifty quid. This is where it all started. Yes, we know what we're doing. Yep. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You should fault. have seen it when we first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David who's... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system. He got behind the firewall. He told me that this was some sort of classified... Project or something. I don't Classified know. Project. Just he, wanted, and... he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand what he means. I pieced it together in myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Told you. Told you it started there. Uh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think he could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay.
it's uh it's gotta be Burn, you little bastards. I just got Jimmy that door. No time, no time. Not so hard. Ah, uh, Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You can be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Deke? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good. Good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? 
One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Oh my god, that's... I see your ass, oh my god. Certainly, that he started looking at it. And that's where I'll be ending the stream tonight, guys. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe.
Lieutenant John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, uh -oh. Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I uh, thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no. Boozer, not yet. It... It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. To see how, you know, how everything's going. Good. Good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. St. John, Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain, I'm here. Uh, copy that. Yeah, Coach, not today. Not in the mood for your truth or bullshit. Yeah, always. Hey, let me in. Deke. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How that Deke? Uh, Corporal. Uh, see you, man. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter.
one of Curry's men. Open it up. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Got Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us. For the militia, you know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but, uh... I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Fucking hell, that miles away, huh? Come in. Proper St. John to Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. That was a good guy. Captain oh, Hayes. shit. That's the only doctor we had. Boy, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what Radio me if you do. Incorporate. Copy that. Say John out. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. Jesus, how about the camp they got going on here? The four of us to hold down. You see that? He still wouldn't tell us nothing. Explosives. You gotta find some explosives. Yeah. We're in business. Glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man.
Jesus. Well, better have a look around. Fuel can. St. John to Captain Curry. Uh, it's done, sir. The kid is on his way back. Good work, St. John. A huge part of what makes us successful. The shoot's kind of glitchy, would not be the same without you. Thank you, sir. Um, I will radio in later and make sure he made it. St. John out. St. John, you there? Yeah, we heard. I'm uh, Hey, call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you. For helping me out of it. And look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit, risking your neck for me. And dude, this name on the shit's almost good to go. I'm gonna need to help test it right soon. Yeah, sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim, yeah, I'll be around. Let's take a look around. All right, where? You're mine now. Corporal St. John, report to me at the Diamond Lake outpost. Captain. Yes, sir. Deacon St. John to Captain Curry. Uh, how's that kid doing? Good. A little dehydrated. Hungry. Um, tells me he's almost cleaned out the mess hall single handed. Well, tell him to save some for me. St. John up. I gotta find a way inside.
Taylor. It's Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Please. Don't let them hate me. St. John, in here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Hey there. Nothing. That's a cool skin. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sergeant. Repairs. Okay. Hey, 
See you, Corporal St. John. Are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound curry, cheerful. Man. Open it up. Great. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay, um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Dr. Menes? A recruit slit his throat ear to ear. This stole some drugs, I heard. Yeah, I, uh, I heard. Doc was a good guy. I, I had an infection on my right arm. I thought I was gonna lose it, but, but he saved it. Uh, my, my arm. It saved my life. Yeah, uh, the Doc was, he was all right. Good piece of equipment right there. All right, then. Corporal, stay safe out there. Corporal St. John, I've got an important assignment for you. Yes, sir. Whatever I can do to help. We sent a patrol north along Highway 97 to investigate a group of anarchists. Have you ever had a run-in with them before? Anarchists? The assholes that left those little fucking cairns all over the place? Yeah, yeah I've met them once or twice. Uh, way back in the day, I, I uh, thought they were all killed off. Evidently not. I've marked their location on your map. I'm sending you in alone in case any of our men are being held. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I'll have a better chance of getting him out alive. Got it. The patrol commander, Sergeant Mitch Allen, is a personal friend of mine. <sighs> yes, sir. I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. I'm counting on you, Corporal. Dismissed. Corporal? Sarge. Yep, good, good old high octane gasoline. Coming right up. Let's see you, Corporal. Keep that bike close. Take a closer look. All right, what have we got? Gotcha. Militia tracks. Okay, let's see. 
What's going on here? Okay, militia gear. Looks like they got dragged off. More tracks. Okay, let's take a look around. Which way? There you are. Tracks lead this way. Men coming! Yeah. This is definitely it. Hey, Captain, I found them. It looks like they're holed up in a mine. Are they holding hostages? Are they alive? Uh, I don't know yet, but if they are, I'll get to them, sir. Um, and if they have your friend, I'll find him. Thank you. Korea. Someone's got a flashlight. Mine. Where are they hiding you? A mine. Another goddamn mine. So you boys thought you'd just set up camp and pick off militia supplies? Ah! Someone's here. Symbols. I gotta be the place. Fucking anarchy! Hate every goddamn one of you! Oh my god, don't kill him. Fucking god. Uh oh.
Someone's got flashed out there, man. Hey, Captain, I found them. It looks like they're holed up in a mine. Are they holding hostages? Are they alive? Uh, I don't know yet, but if they are, I'll get to them, sir. Um, and if they have your friend, I'll find them. Thank you. Hurry up. Hey, Sarge. You must be Mitch Allen. Uh, that was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. <laughs> I'll bet. Are you uh, good to get out of here on your own? Okay. All right. Oh. Huh. Thanks, man. I owe you my life. I'm heading back. I'll tell him what you did. I swear to you. Just do him a job. Back. Check on him later. St. John out. One of Curry's men. Open it up. Corporal Deacon. Hello. Sergeant. Very good. Nice job. Good work. Yes. Yes. Very good. See you, Sarge. Lincoln St. John. Good good to see you. Hey, Sergeant. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Need some petrol, yeah? Oh, Corporal St. John? Uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. 
Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. I'm okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. <laughs> Little shit. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. No, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Hey, 
What you put in that? That shit went down fast. God damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you are you, are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale, that I could. Create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on, is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer... Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Uh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think you should... should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs. Ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Since they just need to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Got more Molotovs. Ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings. Whatever. Space between me and man. You'll blow the hell up. You got it. Rinse. Repeat. A few times. More horde. That's your plan. That's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Ah, come on! 
St. John. I've got more Molotovs. Ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Locke's got nothing to do with it. Ah! All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help.
Got more Molotovs. Ammo. Saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. What's this? Tell me your plan again? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Bounties.
Light him up! 
wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. When the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John, I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... Been, uh... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Please come. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I could get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.
St. John. This is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here, Captain. Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? St. John. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah. Heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. No, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. I'm sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says... Sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Sir, give it... There, come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. I gotta need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests. Gonna need Molotovs. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Corporal hey, Saint John. you're not supposed to be here. I see you around, yeah? Corporal, how are you? Hey, Sergeant. Still breathing, I see.
You there? Weaver, yeah. I can barely hear you, though. You're... Breaking up. This is damn cave, man. I'm surprised this signal gets out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah, where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. The one with the fighting platypus or some shit. You know, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tools. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Ready me when you get there. We are out. Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say. Hey, Captain, you did, uh, Sarge make it back okay? But, oh boy, you don't want any of that. Hey, Captain, did, uh, Sarge? No! Oh! Hey, Captain, did, uh, Sarge make it back okay? Uh, just doing my job, sir. I 
Good, yes, sir. Same turn up. O'Brien, come in, O'Brien. I know you were in this channel. Drifter, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, I, look, I don't have time. Look. I found her, she's alive, and she's being held by, uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy, I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay, but there's something you have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. Weaver, I'm here. Say, John! All right, man. Hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on, these all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was near a flagpole, a big one. They fly the good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Here they are. It's gotta be it.
I got a use for you. Okay, where the hell have you been? There's the flag. <laughs> Still flying. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. This is Ricky to Lost Lake. Come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky? Boozer! Can you hear me? Deacon to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Just, uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She... God damn it, Ricky, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said... Booze Man! Ricky! Well, give him hell, Booze Man. Give him hell. That's it. Yeah, now we're in business. Oh, god damn it. Fuse blown. No, where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? This is it. Okay, let's see what we got in here. John, Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain. I'm here. Uh, copy that. <laughs> Fields. Yes. down on me. An injector. Nero had all the good shit. Ooh. 
Ooh. Whoa. That'll do it. Finally, shut the hell up. At last, I smell it. Ugh, gotta be getting close. Tapered right through here. Deer crossing. Ah, something's never changed.
more scrap. <gasps> Raider camp. Bunch of... Mean sons of bitches, aren't you? I'm the ambush as you said this week, huh? Pretty much looks like a marsh. Let's go look. And here's some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. Okay, just a few more. Huh. I gotta find more. Oh, God damn it. She was right. Criers. Oh, damn, defective crows. Never gonna leave me alone if I don't burn out their nests. That's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? Bunker. Yes. Here it is. Here, a map. Yes. What do we got here? How to craft the... Okay, yeah, okay.
running on fumes, dude. Let me fill it up for you. Deke, uh, Corporal, see you, man. Corporal St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Okay, now that's more like it. There you go. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> oh, big spender. Hey, now that's some hardware, huh? Just saying. Yeah, okay. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Colonel Garrett? Sir? Corporal. St. John, is it? Yes, sir. I, uh, I tracked down that AWOL soldier, Private Myers, and here is your Bible. And God Almighty shall have the final word. Did you bring him back alive? We have a noose waiting for him in the staging area. Uh, no, sir. Um, the anarchists got to him before I did, and they tortured him to death. Unfortunate. But God's will is God's justice. Yes, sir. Carry on, Corporal. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain. But the next time I get here, we need to get the hell out of here. Okay. Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were.
Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sergeant. Let him in. Konnichiwa, Corporal St. John. Sergeant. Very good. Nice job. Yes, very good. See ya, Sergeant Akita. Hey, Corporal St. John. How's it going? Hey, Sergeant. That, that, that's a good one. A uh, good piece of equipment right there. Oh, good, good, good choice, gotta say. Oh, okay, yep. Yep. Oh, yes, sir, that, that, that's a good one. Okay, then. Corporal St. John, I'll see you around, yeah? <laughs> 